What is up everyone, Alex here. Last time on Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy, we got our way to the Forbidden Jungle and somehow wound up in an ancient abandoned temple. Why are there ancient abandoned temples in all these forbidden jungles and whatnot? It's blasphemy. I know. Daxter, you're kind of a dick right now, aren't you? I'm gonna jump on this platform. <gasps> Bunch of precursor orbs. I love it. Now this would probably be easier. If it was powered up with blue eco, but I can get them without falling. Hopefully. No worries. So check this out. Up here is a really cool thing. It kind of reminds me again. I'm sure this game took a lot of inspiration from Super Mario 64, but again. You activate this, and it activates power-ups in other worlds. Zones, areas, levels, get over it, boards. Thank you. That is really good for us. Not gonna lie. Kind of excited about it. But now we have a bunch of blue eco vents available to us. Also, one of which is in the um, the thing. What's it called? Sentinel Beach. There's a blue eco vent over there that'll get us access to the last power cell remaining there. Oh, I thought that was going to take us out of the temple. I'm like, I don't want to go out of the temple yet. Oh, I thought I was dead. I'm very glad I'm not. However, oh Jesus. So if we go over on this side... We get to fight a little, not a little, a plant dude. And he's gonna spit these enemies out on, uh, out at us. And it's important that we don't attack the owl. Wow, I might die to this fight, by the way. So we wanna fight his little things. Uh, Jack, why were you crawling there for a second? That, that was weird. So he's gonna send these guys out at us, these spiky boys. And we want to kill them before they get near us. However, if you attack them with their spikes up, you're going to take damage. And seeing as I only have one hit bar left, I don't want to do that. I usually just wait in, these, in this corner over here. By the time they get to me, they turn it off. And he can't reach me. So overall, not a very hard boss fight. It follows the rule of three of early platformers. You hit the boss three times and it goes down. So that gets us another power cell, which is dope. Next up, we need to step on his head. Yes, kind of gruesome, I know, but very easily missable precursor orbs. Very, very cool idea. I remember as a kid, my friend told me, it's just like, dude, there's a boss in Jack and Daxter. If you step on his head, he, uh, he spits out precursor orbs. And I always remember that being just really neat all right now what do we do we got some stuff left to do let me go back across this rickety very very safe bridge clearly and then i need to get up here so i can get those 3d space dodged me oh my god an enemy who dodges i'm still one hit from death okay hey hey Hey! Hey! <laughs> I always love those frogs. Let's see, if we go up here, we have a little door. However, we need to be... Daxter, I want to say things occasionally. Alright, alright, let's do it. And we get our scout fly buddy, and he spits out another precursor orb for us. Which is always, always a fun time. No alcohol required. That's a reference to a YouTuber. Whoops. I, I did not think of that. I got that from somebody else. So we want to go up on this machine. This very futuristic looking machine. Get these. And we got all the precursor orbs. Dope. So I don't, I don't think we have that much more left to do in the Forbidden Jungle. Now, instead of doing Sentinel Beach... Oh, shit. 
yep. Got powered up by Blue Eco doing that. I don't remember that being a thing. But we can open this door and get our precursor. I don't. Precursor or power cells. Power cells are like your your jiggies, your stars. The, they're the important ones. Precursor orbs are like coins? Purple coins? From Mario Odyssey? I guess. This came first, so it's not like that. There we go. And then we just want to follow along with the laser beam. We just want to track it to these towers. So on and so forth. Thank you, Daxter. Um... Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, you could you can start out going to Forbidden Jungle first because it's the only level made available to us that you can like do everything in it without going to others first. But it is, in my opinion, harder than Sentinel Beach. And Sentinel Beach, we can just go back. It's not a huge deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget. Where was it? Was it over there? Was that where it's at? Alright. Probably worth mentioning that we should have started doing this one first, but eh, whatever. This is probably one of my least favorite power cells. Not because it's hard or anything, just because it's not very interesting to me. My opinion. Can I jump that? I can jump that far. No, I couldn't. <laughs> no, I could not. That's okay. Man, you were just sitting there laughing like an insane person at your big basket of fish. It's kind of creepy, dude. It's kind of weird. It's a little strange. Man, I am so glad that I made a practice file before doing this. And I practiced last night. Because... Last night I was dying a lot, just being careless and stuff, and you know trying to go too fast. But early, early PS2 platformers, they were not messing around when it came to difficulty. Sometimes, those being uh, you know, the big three were always Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and then Sly Cooper, you know, was kind of the sleeper hit because it came out of nowhere. Uh, Insom Insomniac had uh, Spyro, right? I'm, I'm going to showcase something here. Uh, I, I was not a big Spyro and Crash Bandicoot person. I, I did have Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper. Those were my platformers growing up. And Mario, of course. Because my dad, my dad was a big Nintendo f guy before he got a little older. But he was the one who introduced me to video games. And we played, we played Super Mario World when I was younger. I think I mentioned it. Yep. Sure, he will. He should give us like eight power cells because of that. Um, but my my very first memory I can think back to and remember is uh, it's playing Super Mario World with my dad. Yes, yeah, so basically Kira is letting us know that uh, we have enough... Daxter? I will kill you. Um... Right. I'm looking. Yeah. Um, so basically what's going on is you only need 20 power cells in order to have... get into the next area. Which we have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try. Boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. So we saved your job. Oh, Jack's neck is twisty, uh, twisty again. We did your job. And that helps you uh, get reelected. I feel dirty and gross, like we just did something nasty. Next up, we do have 288 power cells. A very good amount. Why do we have such a weird number? One sec. It's because of Sentinel Beach, right? Okay. All right, cool. I was about to say, I'm like, we have a weird, not round number, and it's not making me feel good. 
but yeah, Sentinel Beach, we'll, we'll, it's fine. We're going back there here in a second. Uh, I don't want to give the, all the power cells to the mayor because I would rather just For do this. Gift, another power cell is yours. Thank you. They kind of look plasticky a little bit. They look like they're made of plastic, Jack and Daxter. Thank you. And now that we got the blue eco vents turned on, we can make our way back to Sentinel Beach. Whoa, cool. We make our way back to Sentinel Beach and finish it up. So that's probably what the rest of the episode is going to be. Ah, uh, let's see. What can I talk about? I wanted to talk about something. Um, so yeah, Jack is mute in this game. He is a silent protagonist, but he makes noises kind of like Link in the Legend of Zelda games. So again, I think Naughty Dog, the company who made this game, they were going for the whole immersion thing. You know, I mentioned it with the whole lack of subtitles and stuff. And uh, they wanted to go for the silent protagonist so you could kind of like... There's a word for it, like, oh man, there's a word, shit. Um, but you can kind of put yourself in the protagonist's shoes. I there's a there's a word here for it, and I, I'm gonna have to do something about it in post. Future Alex is probably gonna have to help me out a little bit. But it it all has to do with immersion, right? You want your players to feel completely invested in this world, and a lot of times they'll use a silent protagonist in order to do that. Which is all well and fine. But, I mean, I, I'm i not a big fan of silent protagonists. Like, it's okay, but I, I, I like voiced protagonists. Like, Legend of Zelda is great, and I love it, and the silent protagonist thing works really well there. Crab thing, go away. You're creepy, man. And then now that blue eco vents are working, we actually have access to these little jump pads over here. That's gonna get us access to some stuff. Now I know what you're thinking, just blow up, just have them uh, blow up the things again. But we actually want to go over here. Whoa! And then kill these guys. Get out of here, dude. Don't fall down. If you fall down into the water, you're probably gonna die. Because there's a lurker shark out there waiting for you, and he's he's gonna he's gonna munch you. M O N C H munch. And we actually have access to the cannon here, so easily missable precursor orbs. Get some, get some. <laughs> hey, I got it. Is these right here? Because I can see people. Did I get that? Nice. So I can I can see people thinking. That they're like, oh man, I killed the brutes or lurkers. They're not brutes. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh man. Did you hear the noise he makes? Brah! That noise? Oh, it's scary. That is a scary noise. And then like you hear like a heartbeat noise. It's very anxiety inducing. I'm gonna have to get eaten by that fish so I can I can try and tell you guys about the pure horror that is those things. I thought this game isn't, like, easily available. This game is very easily available. If you have a PS3 or a PS4, you can, like, buy it on the online marketplace. These should be our last two Precursor Orbs. There it is. And with that, Sentinel Beach is done. We have nothing more to do here. All of it is great, wonderful, fantastic, in fact. We might as well head back to... Let me... I want to make sure this is all right. Uh, we fully... Yeah, so the only Precursor Orb left that we have to get is the... Give 90 Precursor Orbs to the Mayor. Now, we could proceed through the canyon, the Fire Canyon, which is how we progress the story, or we could go to a completely Hurry different up, level. Stop it. Kira, I don't care. I want to go to Misty Island and explore because that's what I want to do. And you're like ruining my fun. Now, where's the speedboat? It's somewhere on the water, right? Obviously. 
Oh my goodness. I, I have a very poor sense of direction. And it's actually kind of a detriment to this game because I forget where orbs and scout flies and power cells are quite often. So we're going to head to Misty Island. And we're going to get our little... I have no control, but I think it'd be cool if I did. And Jack and Daxter get to just, you know, without touching the engine, they can just wheel it on by pure power of adventure. And Misty Allen isn't even that far away. That took us, what, 20 seconds of speedboating? Can we see Sandover Village from here? Yeah, see, look at that. That's pretty neat. So yes, Misty Island, and this is where we're going to explore on the next episode, unfortunately. Shut up. Shut up, Daxter. Um, so, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next one.